Hey boys, welcome back to a new video. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So in this video, we'll be showcasing how she got, I mean, Thomas Zuru, because they're obviously won by a 77.8% margin. Man, 72.8%, you know, 77, just, you know, you know, gotta lie on the numbers a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, if you guys want to see Hashigaki, which obviously lost, hit the like button at five, at five likes will showcase Hashigaki. I know it's I'm asking for a lot of likes, boys, but five likes and it will showcase. So these trees, um, there's there's uh these trees I I optimize. I was like um like testing out stuff on on Twitter and the trees. This tree system actually works a lot better than the one we have in the story slash the open map. So I'm not gonna replace them because it's it's not laggy or taxing because I did them optimize. Um, there's like two versions of them. Th these are the really optimized version and the and they work on cylinders. So these are using cylinders. The others were using mesh on the training ground. So you can see how nice it feels to walk around these. They're, you know, it, it's like made for the wall walk system. Um, I'm really highly tempted to change all the blocks to cylinders, but that's that's a little. It, it can create a little lag. But for a mini map like this where it's not too big and there's few parts, just a little bit of terrain, this map shouldn't lag a toaster PC in my opinion. But then again, I don't know, someone could be playing on like a 2004 um, Samsung fridge connected to like a toaster. So I, I don't really know. So if you can run Jailbreak, this, is, this map is nowhere in parts or using as much terrain as Jailbreak. It's just a mini map. In the future, I do plan to make a lot of these places, especially for the Sage modes, like Mount Mayakabu. Um, you can expect a lot, like, really nicely detailed, uh, just looking over the top, because it's a mini-map. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, boys, Kamizuru. So, Kamizuru is obviously one of the top-tier clans in the game, just because of, uh, of the auto-tracking system. Not just the auto-tracking system, just how it functions in general, the poison, um, the bees... How they follow you yes you can dodge it if you time it right but it's a little impossible if you're being attacked by like multiple people so especially if you're being attacked by an entire clan of kamizuru kamizuru is the stone village uh strongest clan like um saratobi is the leaf village strongest clan so every village has a, their own strong clan and for the rpg kamizuru is like a, a one percent ability just because of how strong it is um if you're wondering you're looking at these damages and you're trying to calculate how we do this uh, Don't worry about it. I don't even have my stat points to the max block block didn't even input his stat points So just watch the ability and watch how we play with it So you can obviously see that he's doing less numbers than me And I'm, I'm not even doing the max numbers the ability has to offer just because how you build your user Go check the last video so you can understand how what, what I'm talking about like the stat system, etc. The last move is really nice, uh, in my opinion. It, it's just like top tier. Like it, it, it's a stun move that, that, oh my god, it's it's busted. All right, I'm gonna hate fighting Kamazuru's obviously, but I'm a Uchiha. I gotta stand. I gotta hold up to the name, etc. So I time skipped it to uh, nighttime just to show you guys how nice it looks at night. Everything just looks so clear and like, it, it just looks so beautiful at night, especially the forest. That I, I should have went outside and showcased you, but. Now for the Sage Mode part. So Kamizuru does come into Sage Mode. Um, it has Poison Combat. So the Poison Combat only works with the 4 hit string. It doesn't work with the Frontal Attack or the Q, the, the, the Q spec. It doesn't work with the Rush Hit and the Combat Block Break. So the Combat Block Break is when you jump and you click. If you watch previous videos you would understand how nice the combat system is. Um, anyways. We decided to make the block bar visible and we, we did it in a neat way. We didn't like the circular goo. So every time you see me blocking, you're wondering what that red thing is. That's the block bar. Um, you, like you, Your block doesn't need to be all the way down to, to have block break. The combat comes with like block breaking features. So some jitsus have block breaking features. 
etc. It's not really that big of um, you know, it, it, making invisible is not really that big of a deal. But this is the B summon, which is nice and busted. I ain't gonna lie, I hate. I'm gonna hate. I'm gonna hate um finding Kamazuru. It's one of the top tier clans. So Kamazuru is on the same level as Senju. It just has an edge with the combat, but. If a skill Senju was up against a skill Kamazuru, it's hard to tell who would win because they're both really good. Um, I, I will make a tier list of all the Keki Genkais and, and tell you guys what I think is really strong um, versus what I think is really weak. So look out for that. But guys, in the next coming videos, I'm going to showcase all the new like remakes, all the upgrades for the elements. like Everything you've seen in the past, trust me, you have not... You're, all right, all the jitsus, like all the element jitsus, everything has been upgraded, uh, been like really looked into to make it a lot better. So the balancing, everything that went into this game, boys, I can't wait to show you in the next videos. You're going to see a ton of fucking cool fucking shit, all right? Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. And remember, hit that like button, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And see you guys later.